Okay, so we're asked to find the nth term of the sequence. So the first thing I need to do is work out what the sequence is going up in. So 9 to 22 will be 13. 22 to 41 would be 19. Ah, it's not the same. Okay, so uh, that will be 25. And then this will be 31. Okay. So whenever you have um, a sequence that's not going up by the same amount, then the next step is to work out what the differences are going up in. The difference of the differences. Well, that's 6, and this one's 6, and this one's also 6. So if the difference of the differences is always the same, then you've got yourself a quadratic sequence. And the way of dealing with that is get the difference of the differences and always halve it. Okay, so we end up with 3. Now that 3 will go before an n squared. So we know our, our nth term will involve 3n squared. But we don't know what the rest of it is yet. So what we do is a little table. And we write in our sequence, which is 9, 22, 41, 66, and 97. And then we write down the sequence for 3n squared which is going to be uh, what, 1 squared times 3, okay? because uh, n is 1 for the first term. So that's going to be 3. 2 squared is 4 times 3 is 12. Um, n is 3 for the third term, so 3 squared is 9 times 3 is 27. Uh, n is 4 for the fourth term, so 4 squared 16 times 3 is going to be 48. And then 5 squared times 3 is going to be 75. Now what we want to do is take 3n squared out of our sequence. So if I call this sequence, we're going to do our sequence and we're going to take away 3n squared from it. So basically what I'm doing is I'm going to do, do 9 take away 3, which is 6, 22 take away 12, which is 10, 41 take away 27, uh, which is 14. Um, and I'm just going to keep subtracting them. Now you might notice that we've got a linear sequence now. This linear sequence that's formed is going up in fours. So each one is going up in fours. And we find the nth term of this linear sequence. So we're going to have 4n, and then we're going to work out what the 0th one is. And I've not left myself very much room, and that's going to be 2. So our 0th term is going to be 2, so we know it's going to be 4n plus 2. So we put this bit here with this bit here, and that gives us our nth term of this quadratic sequence. So it's 3n squared plus 4n plus 2 and that's our answer. Now you can check this out by putting in 1 and putting in 2 and putting in 3 and seeing whether you do get 9, 22 and 41 which you will do.